Hey everyone, it's Max here. In the last video, you saw part one of the RC Panga Boat, how I made the outboard motor. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the rest of the RC Panga Boat, including the boat hull, steering mechanism, and the electronics. So without further ado, let's continue making the RC Panga Boat project. First, take a sheet of 5mm poster board foam and cut out all of the Panga Boat parts. I have left links in the description below this video to my Google Drive templates containing the most important parts for this Panga Boat, so you can download them. When creasing the bottom of the Panga Boat, be sure to use something around it like the bottom of a knife so you don't crack the foam. Once you've cut all the parts out, you're going to start assembling the boat by gluing the front part together, kind of giving it that shape that most panga boats have, and then glue the side strips on. The parts that I call out the measurements for are the ones that I decided not to put on the template since they're a little too long for a sheet of paper. The side strips that I'm gluing on here measure 38 by 2.5 centimeters. To cover up that gap in the very front of the boat, be sure to glue in a little piece of foam that sort of looks like this. Using a bit of hot glue, mount this piece of foam to the front or the bow of the boat, kind of elevating the bow and giving it more of a panga boat look. From some of the pieces I cut off earlier, I found this 81 by 1.5 centimeter strip of foam, which I'll now glue around the whole boat. Yes, this is mainly for looks, but also just to elevate the boat a little bit higher. If your foam strips weren't long enough to wrap around the whole boat, be sure to glue on some additional pieces just to cover up those gaps. Here we're going to make a small compartment which will be mounted at the bow of the boat. Once you've made that little compartment, you're going to finish the stern of the boat. Taking some measurements from the stern of the boat, we're going to cut out three triangular looking pieces which will be going on the inside and middle section of the boat. In a real life panga boat, this is normally where you sit. Add some rectangular pieces of foam on top of those triangles. In part one of the Panga Boat, you saw how I made the outboard motor, but I didn't show how to make the swiveling motor mount, so that's what I'm going to show you how to make here. This over here is the handle, and it'll work in with the steering mechanism, so it's not just for looks. Mount the outboard motor to the panga boat and make sure it swivels without problems. So now let's make the steering mechanism for the panga boat. I came up with the steering mechanism myself, using a geared motor, a popsicle stick, and a piece of bent wire.
once you've placed the steering mechanism into the back of the boat, you're going to make sure that the boat handle is sitting in between those two forks. But the steering mechanism is missing one more thing, is a reset spring. So this is a tension spring that we're going to install right over here by poking a hole under one of the seats and driving a skewer through, making sure that the spring has something to hold on to. And then poke the end of the spring through the popsicle sticks hole and make sure that it resets every time you turn it either left or right. Hmm, my steering mechanism seems to work well. The outboard motor resets to a straight position every single time. Here are the things you're going to need to make this boat remote controlled. And yes, I'm using a toy grade RC transmitter and receiver. At the back of the receiver you'll notice there's soldering points for the motors and a 3.7 volts in and ground. Solder the two wires coming from the outboard motor to where it says backwards and forwards on the receiver and then solder the turning geared motor wires to where it says R and L or right and left. Also be sure to solder on a couple of wires for the battery where it says VCC and GND. In case anything blows or heats up too much, be sure to glue on a layer of popsicle sticks to the bottom of the receiver before gluing the receiver into the boat. Solder on a switch to either one of the wires, and then solder another wire to the other end of the switch. And then those two wires, the positive and negative wires, go to the battery. Before putting on any soldering lead onto the batteries, be sure to sand them and scrape them really well so that the soldering lead will stick. Shove the battery up under one of the seats so it sits firmly. Now we're done with the RC Panga boat. Just one more thing, let's add an antenna. Off camera I soldered the antenna wire coming from the receiving board to this antenna I made myself. That was a good run.
That is all for this video showing you how I make my RC Panga boat. If you also want to make yourself one of these, then go check out part one about the outboard motor. And in the future, I'm thinking of either upgrading this Panga boat or building an even bigger one that's a lot more powerful and uses a hobby grade RC controller and receiver. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming content. And if you want to comment, head on down to my Instagram at max.imagination. Also, let me know what you think of my Panga boat. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace!